As another day is coming to a close, the Jaguars coaching saga continues. The latest development, a second interview for former Eagles coach Doug Peterson. To get some perspective, News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson spoke with a former sports agent and is joining us with what he's learned about this lengthy search. Scott? Well, Tom, the wheel of coaching just continues here as we see all these names pop up. And let me get to that guy you just mentioned right there. Doug Peterson. He was a name that came back to us last night about 24 hours ago. Right next to him, Byron Leftwich. Is he still the guy the team is going with? We don't know now, but one thing I do know in talking with a former sports agent, the agents behind the scenes are running a lot of this, like the negotiations and the news leaks to the media. The dynamics of this constant carousel of coaching candidates is complex. I sat down with John Phillips, a well-known local attorney and former sports agent. Phillips says agents are likely involved in all the discussions, and there are very few. Some may represent more than one candidate, and the amount of interviews may be used as leverage to get the real man the team wants on the job. The agents are kind of the mastermind. Jimmy Sexton's well known for pitting teams against each other, and he knows the whole time what his guy will accept. I asked Phillips about Tampa offensive coordinator Byron Leftwich, who reportedly wants general manager Trent Baalke out and to bring in his own GM, Adrian Wilson. Phillips says that would mean the Jags need to negotiate two contracts, which could be a reason this is being delayed. And we keep hearing more names pop up, like former Eagles coach Doug Peterson getting a second interview. Someone close to the team or the coach really close has leaked it. Now, you don't see Shad Khan going out and, and creating, you know, rumors. Um, but oftentimes agents do. Oftentimes managers do, friends do. And sometimes it's to generate more interest. Sometimes, sometimes it's just true. I asked News for Jack sports reporter Jamal St. Cyr about this dynamic of the leaks we're getting and how they may be negotiating strategies for some of these coaching candidates. He brought up the case of Nathaniel Hackett, who was recently hired by Denver. Like the Nathaniel Hackett leak that was coming out in the market that the Jaguars were interested in was coming from Nathaniel Hackett's camp because they wanted the Broncos to take action and make him an offer. So I want to talk about a couple names here. Byron Left, which of course we're talking about, and a name I just added to the wheel today. That would be Tom Brady. He's obviously not a coaching contender, but his retirement, does it affect Byron Leftwich's decision on what to do next? Was he waiting to hear what Tom would do? That's something that no one really knows the answer to, but some are wondering about the Brady retirement and whether or not it's affecting Leftwich's decision to move on. Tom, back to you.